Okay, very short video review of these. Fade Electric. Anybody who shops at Costco, if you're buying anything LED there, or even the old fluorescent ones, they come from Fade Electric. Lord knows what Fade Electric actually is. It's a mixed bag. Sometimes you get good stuff from them, sometimes you get crap. We have LED bulbs from them that go bad in under a year. So, why did I invest in six of these? Uh, they were on a... $25 sale instead of $29.99. So $5 off. I wanted to try them. This is an outdoor area and in the winter, this is what I had. They don't go on, they're fluorescents. So these are what I switched to. So there's the LED ones. There's two of them and I'm gonna try my best to compare those two to those two. Those are fluorescents. I think they're T8s, the thin ones, whatever the thin ones are. So supposedly these are instant ons. They obviously draw a lot more electric, well, a lot less electricity. Not a lot less, less. Uh, these are not cascadable, so you can't hook one to the next, whereas the LED ones are. That's a tiny bit easier for me. Not much. So lighting. I think these are brighter. I'm judging by that back white wall. So you see, if anything, the shadows are behind. Eh. It looks a little dimmer over there than it does there. But that just could be my eyes, or it could be Hawthorne effect. Um, I guess we'll know in a couple of weeks. I think they're better. I needed more for this area. I didn't have any lights here. So my plan is to take the fluorescent ones and move them to there so that at least I have nice light. And then when you first come in here and you turn these on, you'll have some light. By the way, that desk light, those are from Ikea. I like those things, mainly because uh, I need more light to see crap. So I just kind of screw them up wherever I'm doing something important. I'll probably put more over there. But that's the story with those. I'll be doing more. I'm flush mounting them. Oh, trick to flush mount them. So in the box, you get a lot of stuff. You get these, sorry for the glare, um, to hang them if you want to. A chain extension in case like it's you know hung 50 feet up in the air. I won't be using those, but it's nice. It has the chain that you can pull. You can turn them on and off. So in my case, if I have garage doors up in the night, the light above them does nothing. So I can pull chain those off and save two watts of electricity. Every little bit helps, right? Uh, and then the instruction sheet. Here's a real fun one. When you're hanging the fixtures, if you want to flush mount them, they're keyholed on the back. So you can flush mount them. You put them 46.67 inches. Gotta love other cultures. Uh, <laughs> with no knowledge of the imperial system. Yeah, that 46.67, that's right on my tape measure. So here's the fix for that. You take one of these lights and you, well, I'm not gonna bother opening one. Take a stick and put it on the back and measure between two of the holes and cut the stick to that length. Then use the stick as your template to put up more of them, I'm guessing if you're watching this video, you bought more than one of them. If you bought one, trial and error kind of works. You can ballpark the measurement on your tape measure and hope for the best, but the keyholes are extremely short. Um, oh, there's what they look like. So here's my finger. The keyholes are very short, so you don't get a lot of play. I'm using um, those screws. Those are little construction screws, like sheetrock screws. And I basically measured from here to the end of the keyhole on the other one. It don't matter where you measure from to, you just gotta come up with something. Um, and then cut your template to match. So sorry about that. My template goes like to the halfway into the, the, the round part of the keyhole. Uh, neither here nor there. The idea is use a template instead of trying to measure each one. There's just 
the tolerance is so tight on it that unless you have some kind of template, you'll run into trouble. There's how you daisy chain them. So this is a little outlet. And what that lets me do is take this one and plug it into that one. And then that one plugs into an outlet. That's the story. They're kind of nice. Um, weird color light when they first come on. I think it was pinkish, but I'm not sure if that's from all the pink insulation in here. So they're bright now. They were a tiny bit less bright when they first started.